Jay-Z out here. Go ahead, bro. It said, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, See? and shall kill you. That's the concentration camp. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted. Not to be tickled, not to be hugged and squeezed and fed marshmallows and hot chocolate. No, it said to be afflicted. You're going to go through great pain and turmoil. And they shall kill you. See what I'm saying? So, so you got to, man, whoo, you got a lot to deal with, man. You got a lot on your plate. You got to think about that, man. You might escape. Somebody trying to blow your face off, but then they may grab you and take you to the concentration camp where you're going to be tortured and they might kill you. They may torture you uh, or they just might kill you. Matter of fact, bro, give me uh, Revelation 2. Now, things started, uh, I want to say 9 or 10. Because it goes right into that. Uh, no. Start at verse 10. Yeah, start at verse 10. Revelation 2 and 10. Revelation 2 and 10. Yeah, 2 and 10. For none of, the, for none of those things which thou shalt suffer. See? Your like brother read in Matthew 24, he said, uh, be not troubled. You see what I'm saying? For this thing must come to pass. Go ahead. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Now, if there was a such thing as hell, then how is the devil going to come up out of hell, out of the ground, and take you physically and cast you into prison? I thought hell was a form of prison. So they let you know that what? There is no hell. So that devil that the scripture is talking about is who? The so-called white man. It's going to cast some of you into prison, which is the concentration camp. Go ahead. That you may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Ten, day, ten, ten days is just a period of time. Just like it said, that, uh, that he's going to, some shall be, uh, uh, read that part again, bro. They deliver you up to be afflicted and, and kill you. Yeah, go, yeah. See? go ahead, bro. Be uh, thou faithful unto death. See? And I will give thee a crown of life. What is that crown of life? That's everlasting salvation. That's the kingdom of heaven. Everlasting life. That's that crown of life. See what I'm saying? Right. So just because the devil may cast you into prison. Like I said, you're going to be led away to be afflicted. You know, it said uh, for 10 days, 10 days just represents a period of time. It could be 10 days, it could be 10 hours, it might be 10 months, who knows? But be, like the scripture said, be faithful unto death, and you will receive your crown of life. Just like we're reading in Matthew. Go ahead, bro, back in Matthew. And it said, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. See, and we're being hated right now of all nations. Even of the nation of Israel right now, of our own people we being hated. See what I'm saying? Why? For righteousness sake. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It said, and then shall many of be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. Is, is that not what's going on right now? You even got those that's in Israel that are betraying one another and hating one another. You got those, the three stooges that's coming against the apostles. And the elders and us younger brothers, they hate Israel right now. They hate the hopeful elect men right now. They're betraying because they was once among us. Then they turn their back, back on us, following after their own lusts, their own desires. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. It says, And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and, sh and shall deceive many. Do we not have that going on in Israel right now? We got a lot of false prophets here in Israel. That's deceiving many. See what I'm saying? With their what? Lies. Their false doctrine. Their false gods. Go ahead, bro. 
It's a, and because iniquity shall abound, but iniquity, iniquity is what? Sin yeah. upon sin. Go ahead, bro. It says, because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. See? The love of many shall wax cold, man. And that's what's going on right now. A lot of them is hating their brothers. They're hating Israel. They hate the Lord. Right now to this day as we speak. Go ahead, bro. It said, but he that shall endure to the end, the same shall be saved. Now read that. Oh, you read that last part in Revelation 2 and 10 again. It said about uh, uh it says, about the crown. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Like it said in Matthew, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. You, 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 you trying to strive unto death? Be thou faithful unto death, and you will receive a crown of life. That's their salvation. Go ahead, bro. It says, and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. And it has been preached in all the world. By what? The internet. What? See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. For a witness unto all nations. And see, that's another. But see, look, though. That's a prophecy that took place. Because 10 years ago, the world wasn't preaching to all nations. The internet wasn't prevalent like that. The, com the computer was very slow. It wasn't advanced like it was. You didn't have YouTube 10 years ago. You see what I'm saying? Now since you have YouTube, this word is spreading like wildfire all over the earth, man. You got people, you got people that's watching videos from uh, Jamaica to uh, Australia to China to Japan, to uh, Europe, to Italy, you know what I'm saying? Every, to Russia, you see what I'm saying? This word has been all over the planet, man. That's a prophecy. These are prophecies that are being taking place right now. Go ahead, bro. It says, uh, and, and this, the gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken of by the Daniel, Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. He said, Whoso will read it, let him, let him understand. See, we're standing in the holy place right now, which is what? This word, this truth. Because the abomination of desolation is starting to take place now. How? Esau killing Jake in the street. That's the Who's the abominable person? Esau. Who is he trying to make desolate? In Israel. He's trying to wipe us off this place. He's trying to make sure there's no more remembrance of Israel, like I tell you in Psalms 82nd, 82nd or 83rd chapter. And this motherfucker turned on the alarm when he turned that corner. I watched him. As soon as he turned that corner, then he turned the alarms on. They ain't gonna turn it off when he get down there. See what I'm saying? The abomination desolation is taking place now. It's just not made it on a worldwide scale yet. But it's coming, especially here in America, man. We're facing Jacob's trouble now. At any moment, we could be led away into these prison houses, man. See what I'm saying? I done already had FBI agents show up to my house going through my mail. My wife called me when I was at work. They came to the job taking pictures of my vehicle. What the fuck for? I ain't smuggling no drugs. I ain't smuggling no people. We just out here reading the word of you how about she was shot. That time is coming, man. Well, they about to snatch us up off the street. You brothers got to be prepared and aware of what's going on, man. You mocking the scoffers, you think you're going to get off the hook? No, man, you're going to die too.